Hey guys, I'm Danielle from the Sacramento Better Business Bureau and this is Torch Talk. Okay, so it's been a while since our last Torch Talk and I swear this is a different shirt. I just really like stripes and this color. I even tweeted about it. Anyway, today we're talking about an iTunes gift card scam. Oh, no. I'm actually not even sure you can call it a scam. This person's attempt was pretty pathetic. <laughs> our customer service manager, Alma, received this email in her inbox last week. How are you? I need a favor from you. I need to get an iTunes gift card for my niece. It's her birthday, but I can't do this now because I'm currently traveling. Can you get it from any store around you? He even ends with, I'll pay back as soon as I am back. Signed, Jag. Now, neither one of us knows Jag personally, but I'm venturing to guess that if my coworker actually sent him an iTunes gift card, she'd probably never hear from him again. Oh, no. Which isn't surprising. What did surprise me, though, was his poor attempt at getting my coworker to send him money. Which, by the way, for some reason, scam artists love iTunes gift cards, so if someone asks you to make a payment in this way, run for the hills. So this begs the question, are scam artists getting desperate or are they just banking on the generosity of others? Either way, never send money or personal information to people you don't know. And if you're not sure if you're being scammed, contact your local Better Business Bureau at bbb.org or find us on social media at Sacramento BBB. Share this video with friends and family members to help spread the word. I'm Danielle. <clears throat> I'm Danielle. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for the latest Torch Shop.